Everyone and welcome to today's episode. I have Whitney here yet again. Here I am. Be- <laughs> that was awesome because she's already here, and I'm going to be. And on I'm my- fired up. That's right. And I'm already <laughs> going to be on my study abroad trip at this point, which so is true. two weeks long, and I don't want to miss a week, so I'm right. preparing in advance. Can we just Wise. small round of applause that I've only missed one week since it started? We do need to talk about that. Round of applause. Yeah, Kyra! <laughs> <laughs> I started lower and then went higher. I like Because that. sometimes when I start right hand, it's like, whoa! Right. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank mm-hmm. you. Mm-hmm. It's been interesting. Because some nights, it is the last possible minute. You are ambitious. I am. You I, told me you wanted to do two episodes every week. It was and right. I said... You were like, we'll see about that. <laughs> no, I said... <laughs> Wow. (laughs) I think that's exactly what happened. Not going to lie. Yeah. Because I was like, I don't want to have to wait to post by myself when I have someone else that's really good. But then I don't want to put when I have like a lot of posts. She's got a lot lot to say. Yeah. When I have a lot of episodes with someone else, it's going to be hard to like just wait once every week. Right. It's like your episode will be out in two months. Yeah. (laughs) No, exactly. Good luck getting on my podcast. Yeah. No, (laughs) exactly. We'll have to schedule you in there <laughs> with exactly. my busy, busy schedule. No, it's actually, can you please epi- record an episode? <laughs> because I'm running out. Uh, but yeah, so I was like, I don't have to wait. So let's do two a week. And then there's variety. So if someone really doesn't like listening when I'm just by myself, <laughs> they're like, that is so boring, then they don't have to. And they can still listen. You can listen to me. You can listen to Whitney. <laughs> or if they really think that episodes of someone else are too chaotic then they can listen to just me and that is valid you know and that's that's a good point too and so that's why i was like twice a week anyway so we talked about art or whatever and i thought we had way more to say but when he was like no i think i said everything which is totally okay i mean i could go on for days right but But, like the podcast didn't need that yeah we we wanted to hit the highlights right and so Anyway, I was like, Whitney, I need to record one more. What do you want to do? This one's also on art. This one is. And for those of you who don't know, which none of you know, (laughs) Whitney is a Swifty. Oh, they don't know? No. One thing about me is I'm a Swifty. She is a Swifty. She is the definition of a Swifty. I'm not crazy, though. She's not crazy. I'm sensible. But she knows her stuff. I do know... Yeah. She knows her stuff. I'm well informed. And yes. also, I know all the songs, right? Yes. And every word. I, oh, yes. Wait. I okay. almost took a screenshot of this the other day, <laughs> but I didn't. It was a picture of a guy holding a pole, mm-hmm. and it was like me, so the guy holding the pole, and then the pole is the same things I listen to because I don't want to branch out or something <laughs> like that. So true. Something like that. And I wanted to send it to you because I like, like what I like. She likes what she likes. And, and she's like, Taylor why, Swift. why, why discover other music when I can listen to what I know I like? Well, I discover sometimes, but at a much slower rate. Right. And that's okay. The average person. Perhaps. Yeah, that's okay. And like so, when people don't know what song they're listening to, I'm like, oh yeah, I know the song and artist and everything about it. Right. <laughs> and I know how long it is and I know how many breaths they took. And, I, <laughs> and yeah. it's like, no, I'm just kidding. But anyway, so I was like, what should we do? And she said, let's record an episode on Taylor Swift. And I was like, okay. So before we start, there's been rumors that she broke up with her longtime boyfriend since 2016, because I looked it up. That's a long time. Yeah. That's seven years. Wait, no. Yeah, seven years. Well, like ever since reputation, ever since her four-year sabbatical. Yes. No one saw her for a year. Right. right? She was gone. She's been with Joe forever through... So much. Anyway, yeah. this is actually slightly against my beliefs. Okay. Is trying to... I don't know. I don't like speculating on whether or not they broke up. Okay. Because it's not my business. Right. And they've said that, and I agree. Right. Like, it's like, it's all speculation. You know, so many lyrics, you know, uh, let's see, Lavender Hayes says, talk your talk and go viral. Like, it's like, are you just trying to get some news, you know, and like... No, for She's sure. in the middle of like a huge tour. Right. That she's killing right yeah like she, she's doing really well like unprecedented like she is huge stadium tour right 
Um, she didn't record breaking. This is really stupid, but she didn't do one in Salt Lake City, and I was like, why did not she a big not... enough stadium? Yes, but I didn't put that together. I was like, why isn't she doing one in Salt Lake? She has a huge Utah base, like fan right. base. Well, she has a huge base anywhere you go. Well, true, <laughs> but Utah loves her too. You know, Absolutely. like it's not. And so I was like, why isn't she doing an, one in Salt Lake? And then someone was like, well, it's a stadium tour and there's not a stadium in Utah. Right. Like I think 45,000 is the biggest, but like her smallest stadium on her tour is like 55,000, I think. Yeah. And that's smallest. small. Yeah. Like it's more like 75,000. Right. In Glendale, mm-hmm. she said 70,000 Exactly. Fans. Yeah. yeah. So I do you think- personally, as time goes on, I think maybe, but the thing is she's not very sad, right? Mm-hmm. Like when she broke up with a piece of crap boyfriend- like during the red tour, she was crying a lot. And like, I didn't Joe Alwyn's the love of her life yeah. and she is driving. Right. I don't know about it. And like, have you heard, okay, Do you this think episode's okay? going to be all my favorite lyrics. That's cool. And some of them are so beautiful. And it's like, do you think she is a good actress though? And she's actually, well, people are like, she's a professional, you know, she's acting. And I don't know. I just don't want to speculate. And I'm going to say, stand by my opinion, but I don't think so. Okay. Because rumors always circulate. I mean, there were huge rumors that they were engaged a year ago. Yeah. And then also every week, you know? Right. Like, <laughs> right. like I don't right. know. I don't know. I'm the type of person that I'm... Well, first of all, I don't post on social media much anyway, mm-hmm. but I like to speculate like with friends and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just a fun conversation, but I don't post on social media or try to go viral. Well, or anything. Yeah. Well, even with my friends, like every single person I knew texted me, like my sister, my other sister, six See, of my friends. And I was just like, guys, I don't think they broke up and I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> I just, with, all, with love. With my friends. love. Well, I was just thinking, oh, I'll talk to her in person. Yeah. But, and that's fair. I appreciated that you didn't text me like two days after. And yeah. Like, have you heard? And I'm like, yeah. yes, I've heard. <laughs> have you? <laughs> Believe me, I have. <laughs> right. I just want to hurry and say that Whitney says she's not crazy. And that's fair. We can say that. But I also want to say that she genuinely knows her songs. Yeah. I would actually enjoy if you pulled up some Taylor Swift, played <gasps> one second of it, and I can show off my knowledge. I think that is such a genius idea. We're not going to do it professionally, so hopefully it will still sound good because normally I like, there's a whole process, <laughs> but, uh, and let's just say this is off the cuff. So like, if it takes me more than 0.25 seconds, that's forgive okay. me. It's okay. But like, well, we've already acknowledged that it's genuinely insane that you can do this. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Midnight's maybe a little slower. Reputation, I love her, but like I don't. She's like my list, least listened to album. Okay, mm-hmm. which is interesting because that's one favorite. of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. Okay, are you ready? Yep. I'm gonna pick some that are a little bit more popular. Oh, don't do that. Just don't shuffle. go. Just like shuffle. Oh, you want me to shuffle? I don't care. You can pick. Okay. okay. But I know every song. Okay. Of course, I know "Shake It Off." You know, like right. I don't need the right. Gimmies. Okay. Uh, do you want like in between or like right at the beginning? Um, beginning is where my skill lies, but okay, I can let's do, do between. Let, let's do the beginning then. But I know the whole song, so. Right. Innocent. Yes. Speak Now album. Yes. She can't see this, guys. That was pretty impressive. Okay, let's see. She even knows the album? Wow. Okay. Um. You can just rapid fire like shuffle, oh, you know? Let me, let me push that. Let me just find Taylor at the beginning and push shuffle. Ted's Brigades. Okay. I'm gonna go with Cardigan. Oh. No. But that's one of the new All of the girls. Yes, you've it's brand before. new, so that's it's okay. Oh, this is shuffled, so. I promise that you'll never <laughs> Cruel Summer. Willow. All too well, ten minute version. That is true. Mean. Shake it off. Cardigan. We are never getting back together, like ever. <laughs> Lavender haze. Look what you made me do. You belong with me. Don't blame me. Ooh. Lover, Miss Americana and the Heartbreak Prince. Yes. Get away car. Oh, I don't like the song. Paper Rings. Blank Space. Midnight Rain. Enchanted. Once Upon a Time. Trouble. Trouble. 
Well, I was seeing the first Oh, I was like, what? Oh, oh. I don't know. Well, I do. It's from one of her brand new ones. Oh, I know. So it's fair. Midnight's. You flip the script. Okay. I don't know. Whoops. Wait, let me get us. Okay. Karma. Yes. Took me a minute. I didn't know it instinctually, but like, I, I know fair. the song, right? Oh, a bop. Fever dream, hi. Is it, it's not, oh. Oh, anti-hero. Yeah. It's Midnight. Yes. I would be cool, the man. Oh, more Midnight? So mean, bejeweled. Style. Ooh, Cornelia Street. No. No. Combat. The Archer. Last one. Okay. Wildest Dreams. Yes. Okay. Impressive, right? I genuinely had it on shuffle. Like, I just played it. That and was that impressive. Was real. I mean, I did mess up. It was but, real. You know, and, it was but fast. that's human. That's human, <laughs> though. It was past. It was most definitely past. Yes. But also, we have to acknowledge that Midnight's is brand new. Yeah. So you you haven't had time to, like, soak in the right. music. Like, none of those were debut. Debut and Fearless. Actually, anything 1989 and above, like, I no she knows that i know like i genuinely like with my sisters i'm like shuffle it shuffle it i yeah. need to train <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's the best thing in the whole world it's just something i really enjoy yeah so thanks for doing that for me you're welcome I it was fun little taylor swift quiz i enjoyed it too i enjoyed it too it was funny because i knew the answers and so i was like yes. so you're like okay, yes. okay. yeah <laughs> i'm like can she get it can she get it right there's other things i'm good at and that's not one of them but Okay, actually, this is a good thing that I'm good at. That's a random thing. Like, this is one okay, of your okay. random talents. Yeah. I recognize words if they're in a certain place, and I know if I've seen them before. So, for example, this mm-hmm. this sounds kind of silly, but I took a final exam yesterday, mm-hmm. and we had a written portion, and I just mean on paper, multiple choice. So, not written, but, you know, on paper, multiple choice. And then we had a verbal portion where we went with groups and then he would ask a group a question. We all had to like talk together and then answer it. Mm -hmm. And there were two questions that were verbal questions that were on the written exam. And I was like, that one was on the written exam. (laughs) And he was like, no, like, was it? And I was like, no, it's, it was on the exam. I know it. I (laughs) recognize the words. Anyway. It was. Yeah. Well, it's like your affinity. You're really good with rules, right? Like yes. where you've read the rules in like board games and stuff. Yes. That's another random. There's that skill. That's true. Thank you for remembering that. Thread. Thank yeah. you. Yes. I love games. Mm-hmm. My middle name. I <laughs> genuinely love games. And yes. I definitely think part of it, no, big part of it has to do with the social interaction and playing and laughing and right. being competitive and mm-hmm. But I am a really good rule person. She is. Like, it's like, are you sure? And like, I might die on that hill. Yeah. And it's just like, read it. (laughs) Right. Right. I'm like, here's the instructions. It's very rare that I don't know something. And it's typically because... That I don't know something? (laughs) That sounds sounds really bad. That I don't know a certain rule from a game. Okay. Let me, (laughs) let me clarify. Right. Don't... Take her words out yeah. of context. <laughs> like Whitney did. Jeez. <laughs> She's just trying to protect me. Right, Whitney? Right. I'm just <laughs> anticipating potential problems. Right. Right. 100%. <laughs> and so it's not often that I don't know a certain rule from a game, but that normally happens when I didn't read the instructions and someone told me how to play. Mm, so fair. And so that's kind of how it happens. But I will remember how they told me to play. Mm-hmm. But if I read the instructions, obviously, you know, I've got it down. Right. But normally when we play a new game, my family all hand, like at the instructions, <laughs> like, come to, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the instructions come to me. I actually like explaining how to play games too. Yeah. It's so random. A lot of people <laughs> hate doing that. So it's like, why do you like doing that? I don't know. But even at FSY, when we were playing games, mm-hmm. I liked explaining how to play the games. Oh yeah. I was like, my team, our well, like company. like a leadership role. Right. That is so true. And you can help form the culture of how you guys are going to play yes. the games. You know, like the things strategy. you think are important. Yes. And like your attitude 100%, about it. Right? 100%. Yeah, I totally agree. Because when I explain how to play certain games, sometimes I'll explain like the strategy. Mm-hmm. So we can skip through this whole trying to figure out the strategy. Right. You're like, here's what we're going to do. Like, let's actually play this game. Let's not just like mess around. Like I had to do when I stay in the game. (laughs) You don't get a win unless you play in the game. Name that song. Get love for it. Rumor it happens from Hamilton. That's right. I knew it was from Hamilton. I don't know. Knowing the songs from Hamilton is a challenge because it's all yes. one long two hours and 45 minute song. Right. right? Like they, right. there's like no break. In no, the exactly. They, Except for when Philip dies. 
except for when that happens. Spoiler! But they go <laughs> right into each other. Like, oh, you yeah. don't even know that a song has changed because, you right. know, it's like the next Well, line. it really is one long song. It really is. Essentially. <laughs> Maybe two long songs because yeah. there's a little breaking part. But... Right. Well, I guess act one, two, and then there's a break. So, like, three long songs if we're being picky. Right. <laughs> but it's a long song. Mm-hmm. It's one piece. One piece. Anyway... So, yeah, I recognize almost always when it's from Hamilton, but I, like, I don't even try to know the song. So fair. So, anyway. I don't know what exactly you're talking about other than your random gift. Yeah, random gift to listen to Taylor Swift songs and know what they are. Oh, well, actually, I have a, sh- a note of my favorite lyrics of Taylor Swift. Yes. And so I wanted to talk about, I just wanted to read some because I like them so much. Yes. <laughs> and they're art. And they are art. These are pieces of art. Okay, so I only have one lyric listed from debut or, like, you know, her self-titled album, Taylor Swift. Um, It's from Tim McGraw. In a box beneath my bed is a letter that you never read. Because, so true. Like, I don't know if you've ever written letters to people and been like, (laughs) I don't know that I should, oh. You know I I know, yeah. (laughs) I don't know if you've ever written letters to people. Oh, okay. (laughs) No, she hasn't. No, I'm with you. I'm with you. But, like, you know, and then it's, like, another one. I think it's from Closure. Um writing letters addressed to the fire right so true like you write them it's like almost it's therapeutic so like write in your journal you said writing a letter addressed to the fire as in a burn letter yeah writing letters addressed to the fire is that from taylor swift yeah i think it's from the evermore album i'm gonna go with closure don't quote me on that that is so good art guys no seriously i was like whoa whoa i think her eyes are glistening it was (laughs) She said that, and I was like, wait, I need to hurry and grasp that. Right. Address to the fire. Yeah, burn letters. Right. Like, you letters just, like... That you're planning on writing down and then burning. Well, it's therapeutic want... to yeah. write oh. what you need to say with no shame, no worry about someone's feelings, because it's address right. to the fire. Absolutely. Right? Wow. Wow. Do you say address to the fire? Addressed, addressed. I don't okay, know. Okay, okay. I'm just curious. It's I like think, data, data. Depends yeah. on the situation. I think I, yeah, absolutely. I don't mm-hmm. think I have a specific one that I choose. I say Neither. both. But Agreed. Maybe in that situation, I would say addressed to the fire. That's why. I think she sings it addressed to oh, the fire. Oh, so that's why. So that's why it came out that that's way. But why. I would agree that it's like addressed to so okay. and so. Fair right. enough. Fair enough. Okay. Okay. So then going on to Fearless, her second album. This is from Breathe. People are people and sometimes we change our minds. I like that one. We thought it was going to be good. We thought it was going to be this, but like people change. Right. And that it's not anyone's fault. Like, I don't know. It's just like, it's not that deep. Sometimes we change our minds, you know, like I'm not blaming you or, you know, like, I don't know. No, you said it's not that deep. Uh Did I tell you the whole thing with my sister? I'm going to go with no. Okay. Anyway, apparently her new thing is saying that it's not that deep (laughs) and it's really funny to me. My sister's favorite latest and greatest is fake. (laughs) <laughs> like, if I don't fake. view one of her stories, she's like, fake. <laughs> or if I haven't seen one of the reels right. she sent me in the last hour. Yeah. Like, literally, I was driving home, right? Yeah. And I'd been home for 20 minutes. And she's right. like, I'm talking about that reel I sent. And I was like, I haven't seen it, you know? And she's like, yeah. fake. And I was like, girl, you <laughs> sent it while I was driving. <laughs> yeah. That actually, my friend sent me that. She texted me that she got her FSY assignment. And we've been waiting months yeah. to hear. Yeah. But I left my phone at home when I went to Walmart. Oh, and so you didn't get like, and so I didn't get the immediate, and I, we talked about how I would be the first one to respond and the first one to know uh because her mom takes a minute to respond. Oh, and so when people are people. Yeah. So when she didn't, when I didn't (laughs) reply, I bet she was so confused. She was like, this isn't you. No, but (laughs) I had left my phone at home when I was at Walmart because a girl to do. Yeah. I had to prove to, once I was gone out of the house Mm -hmm. driving down, I had to prove to myself that I could do it without my phone. That you didn't have to go back. Yeah. That I didn't have to go back. So real. But that being said, I'm glad that Kadrian was with me because my card is in my phone. Oh, and I didn't have, (laughs) I didn't have my card. So you didn't need your phone, but you did need your card. I did need my card. So I just Venmoed her. She was really nice. But anyway, so yeah. I proved that I don't need my phone. Yeah. Okay. One of my favorite songs from Fearless is Breathe. So here's another one. Okay. Now, I don't know what to be without you around. Like when you, Mm. which of course, like maybe like a two codependent relationship, but like, you know, like when half of you is gone and you don't know what you are anymore. I don't know. So actually, no, psychology related. Right. So tell me the psychology of this. Yeah. No. So we were talking about this in my family problems and solutions class. Mm -hmm. And he said that when you get married to someone and then you've spent more of your time together than apart. Yeah. You know, as your life goes on and they Mm -hmm. pass away, it's genuinely like empirically 
what's the word, um, supported that it feels like part of you is gone because your brain will change. Because part of you is that. Right. The two of you, the pair. Your, your brain remembers the important information that you know you're good at. So for example, if both you and your partner are at something and someone says something and you know your partner is better to remember that, you mm-hmm. won't remember it. Oh, because it's like right. they got it right. in the bag. Right, exactly. Oh. And so it's not like you always remember your partner. It's a it's a trade-off. You both do it. Like Well, they're like an extension of yourself at Exactly. That point. And so anyway. Which is why when they're gone. My professor said your brain literally changes wow. to remember what's important and what your partner has. And so when your partner leaves, suddenly you're like, shoot, I don't know how to do the taxes. I don't know how to pay the bills. Or I don't know how to cook dinner or whatever. Because mm-hmm. you're like, my partner has that. I don't have to worry about it. Mm-hmm. So anyway, it was interesting. Can you believe that your brain genuinely changes? And so when someone is gone, genuinely, like, they're gone. Now right. I don't know who to be without you around. Like, whoo. See, art, truth. Yeah. No, exactly. Look at that, backed up in science. Whoa. Yeah, no, exactly. I mean... Some little 17-year-old, Taylor Swift. I'm saying, okay, that was what I was going to say on the art podcast, too. Yeah. My sister and I were talking about how people, I think some of their divine roles, it's like, art helps people, Mm -hmm. helps them feel connected, and like, I think artists, like big artists, like Taylor Swift, I think she's doing what she was meant to do. Oh, Absolutely. You know? Like, ever since she was like seven years old, she's like, I want to go to Nashville. Right. And like... She writes really good stuff. Yeah. No, it's true. And honestly, can you really doubt the talent? Even if you don't like Taylor Swift. Well, and even if her voice isn't as good as, like, some other singers, it's capable. And, like, her lyrics. She pulls it and off. And songwriting. She yeah. pulls it off. Mm-hmm. For, ab- for absolutely sure. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. For sure. <laughs> for sure. Absolutely. You yeah. know, make sure you're both. Well, okay. And I'm going to go back onto the art tangent, if I will. Um, one of my favorite things, pieces of art, right, is the Forgotten Carols. It's like a little Christmas play, I guess, musical. Anyway, um, there's a song called Handel's Dream, and it's Handel wrote Joy to the World, right? Mm-hmm. And all of, I forgot what it is. I'm not, I don't know. Like yeah. a huge, beautiful piece of art, right? Right. That, like glory to the Savior. Anyway, and it's like, in my dream, he told me, you know, and so it's like, this dream about Handel in heaven, and he tries to audition for the choir to sing when Christ comes, and it's mm-hmm. like, this isn't for you, but your time will come. Like you have so much to give, but your time will come. And then it starts singing joy to the world and like all the work he did on earth. That's pretty. So good. Anyway. So I think a lot of artists are doing what they were meant to do. Like, because it helps people. I don't know. No, I see what you're saying. It like, it's a, it's a good mission to create art. Absolutely. And this reminds me of motivational speakers. Yeah. You know what I mean? No, like exactly. That person was meant to come to this place to talk to these people because that one individual needed to hear this, you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, it. one more lyric from Breathe just so that we have a little closure. Let's see. Um, and you know it's never simple, never easy. Yeah. Because all the time I'm like, and you know it's never simple. Like, it's just so <laughs> true. Like, anything, anything hard... Anytime anything hard happens, I'm like, it's never simple or easy. <laughs> yeah. And those, like, then that's life. And that's the truth. <laughs> yeah. No, it reminded me of this line in Hamilton that I apparently, every single time someone says, that must be nice. That I'm always like, nice. that must be nice. That must be nice. You know, <laughs> every single time. It's so funny to me. Some songs, some lyrics just stick so, with you. Some lyrics just are really there in mm-hmm. your head. Mm-hmm. Okay, so for... Th- for the quote, <laughs> for of the the day. quote of the day, and I told Whitney I was going to surprise her. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is venerable word of the day. That's what I meant. Thank you. <laughs> the word of the day, venerable, and it's an adjective, and it's accorded a great deal of respect, especially because of age, wisdom, or character. Oh, the vi- Virginian venerated. Sorry, something like that. It's said yeah. in Hamilton. That word is yeah. So <laughs> venerable means a great deal of respect. Or eight because of age, wisdom, or character. And the reason I was so happy with myself, <laughs> so happy with myself, is because I've been writing down words in this huge long list on my notes on my phone. I mean, Whitney's seen it. <laughs> of, of words I don't know when I see them when I'm reading. And I love to read, and so I just copy-paste over <laughs> because I read on my phone most of the time. And I took an exam on Monday, and it was about adult, uh, old age and dying. And one of the wor- one of the multiple choice questions was the venerability of elderly. Mm. And I knew what it meant. Yeah. And I was like, Oh my goodness. My random little thing for my podcast word of the day paid off. And I knew that it wasn't that answer because I actually knew what it meant. 
incredible because it could have been the answer knowledge is power exactly it could have been the answer had i not known what it meant right because that's like they're venerated right like it fit in the question right if i didn't know what it meant Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and so it's actually the opposite it was supposed to be i think it said something i don't know exactly what the question was but it means a great deal of respect but the answer was the opposite like we are being stereotypical of them oh, or something like yeah, that yeah, yeah. anyway something to do with ageism and so i was like oh my gosh i know that's not the answer yes it was awesome also i remembered the hamilton quote it's talking about washington okay. right he's a venerated right. person for for sure absolutely so anyway the venerated virginian veteran that's what it says whoa the venerated virginian veteran who's been all lining up whoa to put him on a pedestal that's art okay hamilton has so many good words like, I know, Inimitable. Imi- yes. You said that in one of yes. your podcasts? When yes. It's like, it's in Wait For It, one of my favorite yeah. songs. Yeah. I am an Inimitable. <laughs> <laughs> I am an original. <laughs> and so I already knew what it meant, because he, he follows it with a synonym, right? right? And so I was like, I don't know, it just means, like, you're, like, your own guy. You're unique, <laughs> you know? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is... There's... Life imitates art. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> just... Life models art. Right. Or does art model life? Both. It's two-way street. It's a two-way street. Well, honestly, it's 26 minutes, and I genuinely feel like that was two minutes. Like, yeah. That, no, seriously. That flew by. <laughs> well, obviously, I'm going to have to have you back because this is too much fun not to. And now Facts. we're in person because before you were... Just on a little Zoom. You were just on a Zoom, and that was a whole other... And piece. they were good episodes. They were good episodes. I stand by what I said. I stand by Every what I said, too. I don't Dinner remember... Hamilton. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I said, but... Yes. And the quote of the day is one of the ones we talked about. Probably writing letters addressed to the fire. That's true. That I one, told Kyra to pick her favorite. That one spoke to me. That one's the quote of the day. Absolutely. Sometimes you got to write letters that are addressed, addressed to, to the, the fire. fire. Absolutely. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. <laughs> Don't forget to embrace imperfection, find meaning, satisfaction, and joy from the journey. I'm Kyra. I'm Whitney. And this is Imperfectly Broken, Broken the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll do it normal next time. Do 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 do